Good morning. This is the second of a three-part video series that I'm doing on some of these Microsoft apps that are available in Excel. Uh, I already did the People Graph one. It's uh, available on another link. The second one is Bing Maps. Actually, a pretty simple one. It's almost uh, hardly worth having a demo on it, but I always think it's nice to give people an idea what these things can do so you can see them in advance. Like the other tools, they're simply available in the App Store itself. They're listed up here if you wanted to see them. You can go to the store, uh, look at the, the other listed options here. Not a huge list, but again, it seems to be growing, I swear, almost every day. So worth checking back. Again, most of them are free. Uh, people Graph Bing Maps are free. Smart Charts is not, uh, but you kind of get what you pay for. So in order to do the demo, I had to get uh, some data. So I just went into Power Query and was just cruising around. Yeah, I saw some information about airports and number of passengers. So it's good enough for a demo. But again, you can use any data you have available. There are some limitations that I think are important to mention on this tool compared to things like Power View or Power Map or any of the other analytical mapping tools. So anyways, here's my sample data of airport traffic. Again, going up to the Insert tab, over to the product itself, Bing Maps. As I say, it app makes it easy to plot locations and visualize your data through Bing Maps. So let's give it a shot. So here we go. Um, this is what the tool looks like. Again, it's just a floating insert. You can uh, position as you wish. It's going to need some sample data. So obviously it doesn't have any yet. So I'm going to just give it some here and have it plot. So without too much fanfare, that's about all there is to it. It's plotted the locations um, and the size of the bubbles, of course, correspond to the, the values. There's a few options here, actually, under the uh, tools. Again, some of them, basically, you've only got the two choices, um, you know, satellite imagery or roads. Obviously, in this case, circles is the only thing that works because pie charts is only one column. I'll add another one in a minute. Not a lot to select from here either. But I flipped it on. So again, you can turn things on or off. You can uh, obviously change the uh, location of the data if you wish. Pretty basic stuff. Of course, you have the uh, scrolling features that are standard pretty much in uh, all these mapping products. So if you really want to go down to ground level, um, in fact, I've noticed you kind of get into 3D mode once you drop it down into a close level. But again, tools the same. Pretty standard if you know how to use Google Earth or Bing Earth or Bing Maps. You won't have any problems. So just to see what how functionality you can add, I've added a couple of extra columns. Um, just did some mathematical, multiplied passengers by two to get number of eyeballs traveling and multiplied by four for uh, fingers, not wanting to... Uh, get into any issues about people with disabilities or so on, but just making that a mathematical assumption. Notice now there's some choices here. Obviously the pie chart now does make sense because now there's multiple columns. So again, the data will um, map multiple items and, and do it properly. One of the things to note though on this product, which is actually um, something some people might think is very good, others would think very difficult. It actually struck me as very awkward. I have lots of data that has um, geospatial plotting, but very commonly the city is in one column, the country or the province is in another, the street address, the lats and longs are all in separate columns. This product will only work with one single column for location. So if you don't have everything in one column, it'll simply start guessing. So Paris, France, I suppose is one place, but there's also Paris, Texas. I don't know whether it's skewed, but I found the data then just starts appearing wherever it feels like mapping it. So if you want precision, you actually need to provide single address columns, which is unusual for a mapping product. But for a very simple one like this, it's probably okay. Just be aware of that. Lots of features available in tools like Power Query or in other manual ways to concatenate data. If you have it in separate columns, you'll need to get it all into one. It doesn't work with lats and longs. It seems to only acknowledge text names from its uh, mapping source. So other than that, there's not a whole lot to say about the product. You can take the uh, map 
You could copy it and embed it somewhere else in a Word document. Um, I wonder if I can make a second copy. Apparently I can. Um, I don't think there's much value in that, but it's a simple tool, works easily, um, provides simple maps, can't argue about the price, so give it a try. You might add a little bit of eye candy to your reports, but it's not going to be, uh, if you're into serious mapping, you're going to go with Power View or with Power Map. Cheers.